We are Sean, Emma, Rex and Maggie and in this series we head on a tour of South West Scotland in Rennie, our motorhome. In this episode we try out the world famous Seven Stains mountain bike trails at Glentress. We opted to stay at Glentress Forest Lodges which is situated opposite the Glentress Visitor Centre and Cafe. The site has a small number of hard standing pitches with electric hookup for motorhomes, caravans and vans and some tent pitches. Plus there is a number of timber frame pods available for hire with outdoor fire pits and barbecues. Along with hot showers, a dry room, secure bike storage and a communal kitchen, it's the perfect getaway for mountain bikers. For anyone that was interested, unfortunately Glentress is not a uh, overnight stay the night car park um, so you can't stay here but you can stay down the road at Inalethan. Inalethan. Also the parking here is a little bit more expensive so rather than three hour three pound for all day it's five pounds all day and again it's just cash. Okay so I've cycled from our campsite up to the top car park at Glentress and what I'm going to do is just take on the green one of the greens there's two here one goes from the bottom car park and this one goes from the top car park so I'm just going to do this and see uh, see um, what this is like before we head out on the blues tomorrow so it's the forest track so far down to this sign here Oops. and we'll see that oh there we go so we're going off into the forest by the looks of it now so let's have check this out here we go ride through the forest. A few lumps here, quite nice. This one's quite big. There we go. Nice roll over. Yeah, a little bit of descent. A little bit of gradient there. That's nice because that just introduces you to a little bit of a hill. <coughs> Steep enough to make you think about it and what you could actually call not really a berm but it is a tight turn which gives you an idea of what berms might be like okay so we've got a few bumpy section here as well which would again might introduce you a little bit to some rollers it's nice Okay, nice tight turn the other way, so you get a go for doing a turn the other way, keep some speed through it a little bit. This is a really good introduction to mountain biking. When I say mountain biking, I mean single track riding because, you know, it's very different from going up and down a fire road. The fire road. You know, I don't know. <laughs> You've got to keep your concentration, look ahead at the, on the trail, make sure you know what's coming next. Know when you need to speed up, brake. On the fire road, it's very sim easy to sort of just go straight line, you know, and either pedal up or cruise down. Got a few rocks there, well, that could catch someone out. And it's good to introduce them because you know, a lot of the trails, especially here in Scotland and in Wales, you know, they're natural trails, so there's bits of root and rock everywhere. And you have to learn to 
deal with them whether it's over the top or around them or so I think that's probably most of the single track section if not all of it it's coming lovely that nice little ride that all right so back on the forest track I'm assuming this will take us back to the car park and then we can head back down the road again Hello. 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 There she is. Hello. Breaks it off me, boy. How'd you get on? Yeah, good. 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 All right, mates. Calm down. Oh, I'll climb that. Is it? Yeah. But you're glad you're an e-bike, aren't you? Need to get your uh, legs rested for tomorrow. Oh, really? Oh, yes. I will do then. I'll go and have a rest now. <laughs> <laughs> Morning everybody, um, I've come out with the dogs this morning, just going on a little, one of the shorter hikes here, a couple of miles, saving my legs for this afternoon because I'm probably going to go and do the blue mountain bike trail this afternoon. Sean's gone off this morning to do it, so he'll feed back how difficult it is for me. Um, I've just been past the section and um, it's actually on the way back down and it's a joint blue and red section and it does look quite difficult but we'll see I'll get down no matter what um so we'll see what Sean says if not we'll just enjoy this walk today um weather's good it's actually too warm for this hat I don't know why I've got it on and this coat really um and a lovely quiet night's sleep at Glentrust Forest Lodges um last night and uh yeah, so we're here for the day. Yeah, and we'll see uh, what today brings. While Emma and the dogs were out on their walk, I headed out on the blue trail and here are my trail highlights.
like this one. I don't think you should have any of the salted caramel. Oh, that that is life changing cake. I've already had a piece of life changing cake this holiday. You can have another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah! That's if you don't trash it into some like that's... ball of. Okay, I love the rubbish bit. I don't care what it looks like because it tastes amazing. Is your cake? really good really sweet yeah um um i felt as though my teeth were going to fall out after i had the first mouthful but now yeah i'm gonna have a little break now because i'm i'm all yeah sweet it out. is actually i've had to stop which is like the first time in ever in the history of emma eating cake that she's had to stop halfway through because i can't eat a piece of chocolate cake that's mad that's never happened before never in 20 how long we've been together 25 years 24 years yeah life sentence whatever that is Oi, f <laughs> off. <laughs> but that's your second piece of life changing cake life changing changing for different reasons yeah because that other bit the cake the actual cake part the cake part was so moist and beautiful from yeah. that other shop this one's a little bit dry but the salty caramel bit on the outside is super nice and vegan and vegan yeah yeah best and vegan this, cake i think we've ever yeah, had yeah best vegan cake yeah, yeah. definitely um and this is more of a pudding than a cake it's like a cho you know a chocolate tort but it's very nice it's good very nice thumbs up to the glen tress cafe <laughs> morning so emma's headed off to the blue trail today uh, she's a little bit nervous this morning but i'm sure she'll be fine so i've come out to take the dogs for a walk there's loads of great trails here at glen tress and um, but the first day we got here I went up to the visitor centre and checked them out and I started having started walking on one of the routes and I got a little bit lost I missed a, a post and went off piste a little bit so I'm going to explore that a little bit more today because uh, I've got a really nice viewpoint of the um, of the forest and of the the campsite that we're on as well so uh, I'm going to take you along with me and let's see what we can find
Okay, so I'm uh, currently doing the climb on the Blue Trail and it's proving quite hard work even though I'm on an e-bike um, yeah so I've been pretty nervous about doing the blue I'm not gonna lie Sean did it yesterday I was supposed to do it yesterday but I kind of bottled it <coughs> so I've decided to brave it and come out today I've had a little bit of rain overnight which is not ideal but I said I'd do it so I'm gonna do it I did watch whoa I did watch Sean's video back yesterday and uh, I'm a bit nervous about some of the features and things so I've been battling a bit of nerves and anxiety and upset tummy because I've been worried about doing this so we'll see how I get on but for now I've got a big old climb <sighs> Well, it looks like Emma's just about to get back now. We've been using the Buddy Beacon on Strava, which is really good to keep uh, keep an eye on where everybody is when they're out on the trails on their own. So let's see how she got on. <laughs> oh dear. How did you get on? Most of it, I would say, Apart from that top section, yeah. if you took out that top section completely um, and just started at the top of Burn Baby Burn, I think 95% of it is yeah. doable as a beginner slash progressor, you know? Yeah. So somebody who's been riding a little while yeah. isn't a total beginner. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay, yeah. brilliant. Town is a short drive from Glentress, nestled among rolling hills in an area of outstanding natural beauty and sits on the banks of the River Tweed. The town 
boasts many shops and cafes, along with some pretty amazing bakeries. There is a large car park big enough for motorhomes, a short walk from the high street. Morning, Emma's going to head off with the dogs today so I'm going up to do the red mountain bike trail. Uh, if the blue's anything to go by then the reds will be something a bit special so I can't wait to get up there. Wow, that was definitely a red. <laughs> that was definitely a red, bordering on black. Like, really? yeah, you go to Swinley and Landegla and those type of places, some of the features on there would be black. But yeah, perfectly rideable. No, nothing out of the ordinary. The great thing is here, because they've got a black route, they can make that really oh, black. Yeah. I mean, I look down some of the black sections and they're like, you know, bike park reds. They're proper like, um, yeah, the regs at um, uh, bike park Wales and stuff. All right. Really okay. techie. So, but yeah, that was really good. Climb was long, which it is, but mm -hmm. you know, it was pretty much the same as the blue plus an extra bit at the top, isn't it? Yeah. Plus an extra mm -hmm. bit at the top. Yeah. But yeah, but I mean, the blue was a challenging blue. This was a challenging red. Um, if you're used to doing blues and you want to have a go at a red, this is probably not the right one for you. The blue is challenging enough. So if you, you know, you can session the blue and do the blue. And then when you're confident on the blue, then have a go at the red. Yeah. I wouldn't just come here and go, oh, I'm going to do the red. Right. Have a go at the blue, see how you get on with that. Mm. And then if you're, you know, absolutely flying down the blue, then give the red a go. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't really now, seeing what I've done now, I wouldn't go on the black. No. I'd leave it another year. Yeah. And then, because I'm not going to get the most out of it, so no, that's I'd it. go up and do the red and, yeah. and do that well rather than do the black badly. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, really good. Yeah, I Are mean, you knackered? Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, you've been out best part of two and a bit hours. Yeah. yeah so it's a long I've ride, been, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, I've been doing, getting off and setting up cameras oh, okay. and doing a bit of off camera stuff. So, so I wanted to get that done, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, I'd definitely come back without a shadow of a doubt. Cool. Yeah. Sausage sandwich. Oh yeah, please. <laughs> I'm starving. Join us next time as we head to our final destination of this trip, Newcastleton.